Hassan Boss. How are you? I'm actually quite good. You look good. <laughs> your show is just fast and it was fabulous. I love your pieces. Thank this you. This is actually one of your dresses and thank you for lending it to me today. Well, you know, it's I'm very flattered that... It's beautiful. You know, <laughs> I love who's, it. Who's more I beautiful? Really... You with the dress. Oh, you know? shush. <laughs> what were your impressions of your show today? Um, the, the, I saw it on the screen, on the TV screen backstage. And the wonderful thing was that I told everyone, like, you're not a model today. You are an actress mm. in a movie and you're playing a part. So I briefed every girl That's what it. to do, how to behave. And I told them like, if you feel it on the inside, you sh you're showing it Absolutely. on the outside. Absolutely, That's beautiful. And when I was looking at the screen, at the little TV screen, I, I really, at some point, I forgot that they were showing my clothes. <laughs> I was thought I was looking at a movie. Like, wow, they're so amazing. They're so beautiful clothes. And I was like, Wait a minute, they're my clothes. I know, that's the best thing you could actually say <laughs> about your collection. You forgot they were there, yes, basically. Because that's it's to me, like, it's not just about the clothes and the models, etc. It's about everyone working on it, like, you know, the wonderful team, the lighting, the people backstage. Absolutely. It's a teamwork, isn't it? It's totally teamwork. It is, right? So you've been a creator since, since a, a young age, right? You started yes. very, very young. I guess it's almost in your DNA, isn't it? Um, Can well, you say it, that? No, the thing was, I always knew how to draw. And I was crazy about fairy tales oh. and the magic of the fairy tale. <laughs> so then I drew princesses and princesses and princesses. But if you do that for years, all of a sudden you become tired of a big ball dress. <laughs> and then I was like, listen, this is the beginning of the 80s. Women are getting emancipated. Let's put the princess in some pants. Beautiful. So and that's what it started. Like one pant became two and a little skirt. And then I am from a little village in the countryside of Holland. Right. And we don't have Vogue. You don't, right? And there was no YouTube. <laughs> so I just figured it out. And then someone asked me like, oh, wow, you d draw so beautifully and wonderful designs. Can you make something for me? So I had my first client when I was 12. That's beautiful. 12 years old. And from there, old. one became two. And well, congratulations, because today you're, you're really, I could say, a successful designer and very happy to, to see your work. Um, what do you think about um, Arab Fashion Week and, and you know, the platform of, of uh, fashion in Dubai? Um, the platform, like first Dubai as a city, yes. the more and more I am here, it feels like an, uh, the New York of the Middle East. It's very difficult to find someone from Dubai, like New York. <laughs> it is, right? Like everyone's from Nobody's everywhere. Nobody's from here, exactly. And what I see now is that the Arab Fashion Week is a reflection of what the city is. Wow. So I see designers from, of course, from Holland, that's me, uh, from Brazil, uh, from uh, uh, the wonderful uh, princess from uh, the United uh, Emirates. Yes. Um, so that this, it's, it's, it's a really different feel from, say, the Western cosmopolitan feel. So that's, that's why it's just nice to see that Dubai has its very own entity. That's great. So you, you, would you come for a second edition if there were a second edition? Would I think come? I'm hooked. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you here maybe in the second edition. Well, yeah, hopefully. One, one little thing. Um, do you have a favorite piece? Because I like to ask that. Um, a favorite piece. Uh, is there, is well, there one well, piece that, that uh, is uh, two particularly actually. close to your uh, two heart? Two, actually. Okay. Um, one is the, um, the, the cognac ensemble. Oh, with yes. With like the, the flames, etc., which is inspired yes. by having a glass of brandy mm. by the fireplace wow. and the light that goes through the glass of brandy. And I saw it and I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. I have to capture that. Beautiful. And the other one is a feather dress. Oh, the, yeah, the feather the, dress. The black and the colored feather. Oh, I made yeah. it especially for fa Dubai Fashion Week. Oh, really? And that's the thing. Did you, did you adjust your collection for, for Dubai? Did you well, have well to that do piece any, any actually, adjustments? and I thought I would do it like you know maybe two weeks or something, right. and two weeks became four, and four became <laughs> six, and I had, I think that piece has like 500 hours now in it. You're kidding I me! I know. <laughs> but you it was should, worth you it. should see the atelier. It was, it was like you know some some chicken had made a fight, so when I go back home and I open the door, it's like. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much for your time. It's, Lovely it's, seeing it's, you again. again. I love your your pieces, and again, thank you for lending me your dress. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great time. Alla prossima. Alla prossima.